major illness swept into my life 17 years ago, leaving me housebound and my life in ruins. It took me years to find ways to create a good life despite formidable obstacles. One of my secret weapons in this fight has been my imagination. When the picture of my life appears dark and bleak, very often the imagination steps in and helps me to create a brighter one. I've found the human imagination to be a healing tonic and a versatile one at that. I've written in my book about the various ways that I've used my imagination to help me overcome adversity. I'll share with you a small example of how it's even helped with small things like improving the highly restricted diet that I've been on for much of my sickness. Uh, you see, I've always been somebody with a, a passion for food and cooking. So when I had to give up entire food groups like dairy and wheat, it not only made me feel deprived, but it took much joy and pleasure for me. So I began to think creatively about how I could make the most of my limited diet, um, which, by the way, was now full of foods like millet and teff muffins. First, I checked out acres of cookbooks from the library, um, international cookbooks from countries where people don't eat much dairy or wheat, like Vietnam. Then I started to imagine that country. At once, one of my um, favorite new foods came to me when I um, summoned a memory of a dish I had eaten at a popular New York City restaurant. Uh, it was a dish that used Korean rice cakes, also called dok. Uh, they're little shaped like that. Um, Apparently, rice cakes are popular in Korea, so even sidewalk vendors sell them there, much the way uh, vendors here would sell hot dogs, and children there love them. On that day that I tasted my first rice cakes, my uh, cousin and I had met at a restaurant that we both wanted to try called Momofuku. My cousin, a pastry chef and artist, had uh, sailed over the Brooklyn Bridge uh, into the city on her sturdy bicycle to meet me. We sat down to lunch and I ordered a dish with rice cakes sauteed with uh, spicy pork sausage, Chinese broccoli, it was sprinkled with crispy fried shallots. When I took the first bites of those dish, um, the spicy flavors and the contrasting soft and crispy textures performed a dance in my mouth and made me feel weak at the knees. <laughs> I especially loved the soft chewy rice cakes. So later when I remember that dish I, I was delighted to find the recipe in Momofuku's cookbook along with other rice cake recipes. But there was a problem. All of the rice cake recipes use soy sauce and I'm now allergic to it. So I, you know, I've never found a substitute for soy sauce that's acceptable. So in this case, I uh, started to imagine very, very different ways of using them rather than try to follow the recipe, leave out the soy sauce, and then find the dish disappointing. I went on what seemed like a little adventure to a vast Asian grocery store, and there I found rice cakes in the refrigerated case. Then I started to experiment with them. Here are the rice cakes when they're raw. They're actually uh, shaped like cylinders, and then I cut them up into pieces the way they do at Momofuku's. I make rice cakes different ways. Today I'm going to mix them with roasted vegetables and I left the asparagus a little bit crispy because I, I like that contrast of soft and crispy texture. So um, I drop the rice cakes into boiling water for one minute. That's it. Drain them. Then I um, put them onto the vegetables 
and um, just a little splash of uh, balsamic vinegar. Uh, toss it around and sprinkle with uh, sliced scallions and I'm good to go. It's fast, easy, it feels like comfort food to me. Had I known about rice cakes back when I was healthy, I would have been eating them regularly then, even though I could eat any food I wanted to at that time. I love discoveries like this because it makes me feel like my illness has added a little something to my life rather than taken something away. Well, I'm going to go make this my lunch right now. Um, if you or anyone you know suffers from a chronic health problem, you might be interested in my video, It's All in Your Head.